Well, as you can see, it's raining again, so we won't be doing any outside work this week. We're gonna be working on the hearth. We went and got our tile. So this is what we're gonna use for the bottom. We got a great deal on it. It was only $1.99 a square foot. They're 18 inch tiles. And then we're gonna be doing a light stone backsplash on it. That we did not get a great deal on, but I think it'll look good. So yeah, I think it's gonna go good together. We also picked up our bathroom tile, which is buried in there. Can't show you yet, but uh, what was it a square foot? It was on sale because it was closed out for our shower. Yeah, it was like 60 some cents. Yeah, I'll have to look at my paper. Yeah, I think it was, it was like 65 crazy. cents a square yeah, it foot. It was a crazy deal. So we, yeah. we gobbled that up. So that we'll be working on that later on. But, uh, and I'm going to get the hearth done. I've never done tile before. I have seen it done. So I, I decided not to. Uh, I was going to buy the. Uh, the, the thin set that you have to mix because it's a way cheaper but since I'm going to be going slow uh, it, I would think it was going to harden too quick on me and I ended up wasting it so I just went with the pre-made stuff and it's it's a lot more expensive versus the other but since I don't have the experience that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I picked up some things at yard sales over the years. Uh, trial hair it's not really the, it has the smaller teeth but I think almost I'll make it work. Uh, we got some spacers we end up going with the uh, quarter inch spacers and um, for the grout, and for the grout, we're just going to go with a bright white. It's kind of really more of an off-white color. And it's not going to be real spaced out anyway. The uh, back, the back of the hearth doesn't have to have any grout at all. It's just you can stick it up. And then when we set up and when we, uh, if you look at our thrifting video, we'll put a link in the description uh, for our thrifting video. When we was out there that day, I found this anvil tile cutter at the one thrift store for 12 bucks. They're regular, almost $40 here. Unfortunately, this is a 14 inch one, but I think it will still work on some of the cuts I can make because it's going to be at an angle. So I'm going to try to use it. It's going to be a work when we do our backsplash in the kitchen. And uh, I did buy a tile cutting blade for the saw, so I'll have to put that on and to make any bigger cuts if this doesn't work, which I don't think it will. Like I said, and I've only seen this done in person one time. My brother's really good at it. I watched him do it a little bit when we were down there in the States helping them out. So we're going to give it a try and hope I don't break. We've got two boxes of this stuff. I should only need one box if I don't break any tile. So we will see. Yeah, but they were in closed out and we can't get yeah, any more of it. So, so we figured, hey, yeah. we'll buy extra just in yep. case. So hopefully this goes good and we don't break anything. And it should look pretty good. And then... Uh, I said in one video I was going to extend this up, but I decided not to because the price of that back tile is so expensive. Uh, I decided just to leave it at this height, and then uh, we'll just we're going to trim out this, and then this will be trimmed out here. But I'm not going to put this trim on until we have the floor in, which that's coming pretty soon. And the kitchen, um, I know everybody's like really concerned with the outside of the house. The weather has just been garbage this this summer again. Last summer rained almost all summer, almost all summer long, and uh, this summer has been not a very, lot better. <laughs> not a whole lot better. So we've been putting off because I got things to do outside too. I need to get up on the roof. We're gonna get that snow, snow dam or something. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah snow dam. That's uh, what it's called. The chimney up there to keep snow from piling up against that. I gotta get that on, and I need to fix the gutter. But the, it's just been crappy weather, and I need to get the. We really wanted to put a deck and a porch on this, and. I'm still going to try to do at least the well, deck. An Arctic entry would be so nice with yeah. the dogs because they just uh, let the cold yeah, air in and so drag stuff be... in. So it's uh, it's almost necessary to have a porch with an Arctic yeah. entry. We're going to try to get that and then try to at least get the front on the house so that it looks nice when you roll up here. If we get good days. And then it's also, it's like, we're not wealthy people. Everybody's like, oh, you got these nice vehicles. Buy this, buy that. There's loans on those vehicles. <laughs> we're not... You know, this is out of pocket. This build is 100% out of pocket. So it's, you know, we're doing things as we have, as we get money and stuff. So it's, it's not, we're just not going crazy. I don't want to go into debt to do this. We already had debt before. I don't want to go into debt for another house. So anyhow, back on track. We're going to start laying this tile out first. Uh, I'm going to try to lay out where I want everything, put the little spacers in. And then, um, and then we're going to see how this goes. I don't know. Like I said, I've never done this before. So this is not a how-to channel, people. Everybody's, everybody's the critic. Everybody's a critic. This is not a how-to, it's a how I do. So if you follow what I do and you make a big damn mess, that's on you, not me. All right, so let's get to this. 
So I soaked up all the dog hair first. Because the dogs have been laying on this thing. Make it, this is like their bed. And uh, I was trying to decide how to set the tile. I wasn't really sure. I was thinking at first, I was like, well, it might look good if I did it like this. And then as I started laying out, I was like, holy cow, it's going to be a ton of triangle cuts and all these different cuts. And I don't have the skill necessary. And I'll end up breaking it. And I was thinking, I kind of like the idea of it having it kind of at the, an angle. So I'm going to run it from the back. And run it out this way. Um, out towards the front. So, I guess I need to start setting these spacers. I don't even know how to set these. How do these go? Maybe two on each. Is it just one. like this? Yeah. No, sideways, honey. Like this? No, sideways. Sideways? Turn them sideways. Like this? That's how it sh no, sideways. Babe. Oh my God, that's how it showed it in the thing was- Like this? Yes. Yeah, we're not doing no big damn gap like that. Why, why do you have, oh my God. Let me show you guys what he's done. You said sideways. I, yes, sideways. That's sideways. Do you see what he's, look, look what he's done here. Yeah, that looks like- Stop, hell. don't touch it, Dude, let what? them see. You've got to, this is how he and has that looks it like, like that. that. Right, it goes like this. Push it together. Push it. Hold on, this thing's caught. Like that. Yeah, that's what I was doing initially, wasn't it? Are you sure it's like that? That's how it showed on the book. Okay. That does look awful wide though, doesn't it? That's look at your thing and see if it's a quarter, quarter of an inch. inch. This is why I got married because I don't know what the hell I'm doing most of the time. Well, why would you put it in the, like I, an X? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Obviously. That's why. That's why I would do it that way. All right, so let me store these. Oh, you know what? I got this big glob over here. I need... Oh, you need something to scrape it with. Oh, what? Oh, uh, man. Now some of these lines. I guess I can eyeball, oh. I can eyeball it pretty good. Are these supposed to be right up against the edge, or are you supposed to put a space in I there, too? I don't know. Well, it's not going to matter because the back tile sits down on it. Oh. So it's not, you're not going to see that. Okay. I think I'm going to save this one out here. Or no, maybe this one. Yeah, maybe that one there. It's got a lot more color on it. Oop. Don't break them. That would not be good, would it, Anzi? Because this one... I could have just done it this way, I suppose, too. Yeah. I think... Nope. Not gonna work. Alright. So we're gonna have to go get the uh, saw. So this thing is only gonna be good for uh, backsplash. Back yeah. It won't work at all. Yep. Bummer. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna change the uh, saw blade out from what is that, a wood one? It was a wooden metal blade I had in this. Yeah, so this is yours actually made for tile. Diamond, uh, diamond something or other, so. Ooh. I have a little room for air because I'll have a piece of trim out here I could always grout if I needed to that the edge here I could make the trim come up yeah it's not bad I mean yeah no it looks fine it'll work
It'll be mostly good. It's not going to be perfect. It's just. That's okay. So we'll trim this bit here and it will help. Yeah. We're going to have a little bit of grout along that edge. I'd like to help a little bit, I think. So there we are, all mocked up. We're not perfect, that's for sure, but some grout will hide some of the imperfections. Well, it's pretty darn good. But I think it will be fine. I think so too. All right, so I'm gonna pull this all off. We'll start uh, putting some of our thin set down, start setting tiles, see how this goes. Know if this is enough. I just don't know. Keep rolling with it. Right or wrong. I think it was this one. Once he's trying to be all lovey. That's right, I'll tell you. It'd be disappointing if I got the don't have the mortar right or the thin set right.
di pepe avanza Well, we're down. Let's uh, hope that it's right. I really don't know. If I got enough fence at all, that's my main concern. Really, is that uh, my trial wasn't the teeth weren't uh, the bigger teeth, and I don't know if I've got enough fence set down. I hope that I do. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but for my first time, I guess it don't look too awful bad. So it's got to dry for 48 hours, it says, and then uh, we can grout it. All right, so it's been about 48 hours since I laid the tile there, so we can get on it and start uh, installing the uh, back section. <clears throat> so I've laid it out on the floor here so I can make all my cuts. Then I'll just be able to uh, put thin set on the back and put the towel up. So we'll see how it goes. And this is what we're going with for the back. I think it should go with the towel pretty good. Oh. So I'll get this all out and kind of look and see if I need to. I don't know how many different patterns there are in this stuff and I don't want it to be repeating real close so I think I'll just get it out and take a look at it. I don't really know. I'd say I had a bigger one there if it was a little bit too close so maybe but I don't know. And then these probably I'll probably have to walk, cut off the edges on these. For the inside corner over there. Hopefully this works. Well, my cuts will be done and I'll be able to just throw them up. Now if that's a big deal, some of them are broke, but I mean it's not a huge deal because I can just put them in place. So, as you can see, there's some darker ones, so I need to move some of these around. So we have it a little more staggered. Don't all the dark ones together. one 
here. That's why it's good to lay these out too because there are different colors and stuff in these. And we want them to look more random. We don't want them to just be all the dark and all the light together. I think I think that's going to look pretty good. I've, so I've never done this before, so I hope that it goes smooth because this stuff here, I mean, the other time was a lot cheaper. This is, this is expensive, so if I foul something up here, it's not good. cuts made. Now I can go over there and start putting this up. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Alright. See how this goes. So on this stuff, I've seen that you're supposed to uh, put it on the back and then also put it on the back of the tile. So. First row will probably be the harder one because it's putting it on the getting it, not getting it on the tile. Keep it off the pile down here. Got a little bit too much on the bottom. It's a problem with get it all over your hands and.
messy person, so kind of makes this hard to do because I'm getting thin set everywhere. Is this missing? Oh, over here. Kid, you would used to have, she gets the itching in there, and it sounds like a damn earthquake or something going on. Keep this running nice and straight. And the other tile buttoned in this corner. I'm not really sure. I'm probably gonna have to grout because I'm sure there's gonna be gaps. So I guess that's how you would do that, is you would just grout the back corner, I don't know. And I'll be putting trim up and around all this too. This top one, I don't want to cut it because I thought about extending this anyway, and it's, only, it's gonna only hang, be up just a little bit higher, and I think it will be fine. Because um, I, I don't have one of the tile saws you know, I just got a blade for my saw and I'm trying to rip these things down would it would be very difficult and these want to break really easy so I'm afraid I'm really afraid to do that so I think I'm just gonna let it hang you know, come up a little bit here and I'll get one and see what that looks like hopefully it's not a problem how much is that gonna be uh not a lot so I think that's not gonna be an issue at all 
that's good. That's good. I have no idea if I'm even doing this right. There's so many videos on YouTube. So. It seems to be sticking pretty good. So. Yeah. And you can see it's only sticking out maybe about thumbs width above that. I don't think that's going to be an issue. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Getting some thin set on everything. I'm starting to gush out a little bit here and there. I'm getting a little bit too much on, I think. Okay. One wall done. Let's hope that they don't fall. <laughs> yep, nice and level. Pretty good. I right, got my second uh, wall laid out. I trim these edges. So unfortunately, as I'm buttoning them into there, there's some that stick out, and I'm having to notch, which is really difficult to do. I just had to get the saw kind of sideways, and so we'll see if that actually is going to work. I notched that. On. I could probably go a little bit deeper, but I think I'm just going to try to grout these lines here.
right, we got the uh, towel done. Got to wait to uh, let it set up completely before we can grout anything. You know, I, this seemed like it matched that much better before. Uh, I mean, it looks fine. It's just a little different than I had, had envisioned, I guess, but it is what it is. I think it turned out pretty good, though. Big grout in that back corner. And then, like I said, we're going to be putting trim all along the sides and along the front. All right, so this is pretty much it for this project until uh, we can get the grout done. If you like the content, the easiest thing you can do to help support the channel is just liking and subscribing. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about the projects we're doing. And uh, we'll see you next time.